I am Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to understand how to find or calculate exact value of trigonometric expressions. Well, you should equip with these triangles to find the exact value. One triangle is 45, 45, 90 degrees, right? So that is one of the special triangles, 45, 45 and 90 degrees. The other one which is very important to find exact values is 30, 60, 90, right? So, so this is our triangle. So we have, uh, let us say this side is 30 degrees, this side will be 60 degrees, and that will be 90. Now in 30, 60, think about an equilateral triangle with sides of two units. So let me write down the dimensions of these figures. Side of two units, then half of two is going to be one, the smaller side is against 30 degrees and the perpendicular is square root of 3 since 2 square minus 1 square is 3, right? So you get square root. That is how you get it. In 45 degrees triangle, what I will do is I'll use two triangles. So let me draw it like this. I think that will give you an idea. Why am I doing it? Okay, so we'll write in this also 45. So what we normally do is we take sides as 1, 1 and square root 2, right? That is normally uh, to take. So each side is 1. That's an isosceles triangle. These two sides are equal, 45, 45 degrees. Hypotenuse will be 1 square plus 1 square square root, right? At times, what you can also do is that you can take sides as, let me multiply each number by square root 2. Then I get this side as square root 2, this side as square root 2, and that will be 2, right? I will show you how we can use both these uh, triangles, correct? So now, with that in mind, let us try to find out how to calculate exact value of some trigonometric expressions. So let me begin by taking one as, let us take sine of 45 degrees cos of 45 degrees minus sine of 30 degrees cos of 30 degrees. Let's take this as an example, right? Now, sine of 45 degrees and cos of 45 degrees, we are multiplying them. So we can use this 45 degrees triangle. Sine is a positive over hypotenuse. Cosine is also the same value, 1 over square root 2, but adjacent over hypotenuse. For 45 degrees, both are equal, right? So we can substitute here 1 over square root 2 times 1 over square root 2 minus sine 30. Let's get into this triangle. Sine means opposite over hypotenuse. It is 1 over 2. Cos of 30 means adjacent over hypotenuse. That means square root 3 over 2. Now, let us combine these. So when you multiply, you get 1 over 2. When you multiply these, you get square root 3 over 4. Now we can take common denominator of 4. So we get 2 minus square root 3 in the numerator and 4 in the denominator. So that is how you can find your answer as an exact value, right? So in this particular case, we use this particular triangle. We have 1 over square root 2. When we multiplied, it became 2. So we did not have any radical sign in the denominator. Now let's take one more example. And this time what we will do is, we will take sine of 45 degrees. Let's take cos of 30 degrees, okay. And, uh, okay, plus something. Uh, let it be sine of 60 degrees. And cos of 45 degrees, okay. Let's take this one now. So in this particular case, again, use your special triangles. Sine 45, I could write 1 over square root 2. So let me write 1 over square root 2 to start with. Cos 30 degrees, square root 3 over 2, times square root 3 over 2, plus sine of 60 degrees. Sine 60 degrees from this square root 3 over 2. Okay. And cos of 45 is 1 over square root 2, 1 over square root. Now in this case, common denominator is 2 times square root 2 and uh, the numerators we get square root 3 plus square root 3, okay, square root 3 plus square root 3. 
that gives us 2 square root 3 over 2 square root 2. Now that is square root of 3 over 2. Now that is the answer with which you may write but strictly speaking you should normally rationalize this answer. You should never write with the radical sign in the denominator. Rationalization means that multiply and divide by this radical which is square root 2. Multiplying and divide by square root 2 is as good as multiplying by 1, right? So, when you do that, you actually get square root 2 times square root 3 is square root 6 in the numerator and denominator will be square root 2 times square root 2, which is 2. So, the real answer is square root 6 over 2. I mean, that is not wrong, but not the right way of writing. Now, you can understand one thing from here that if I would have used this triangle square root 2 over 2 then there was no need to rationalize at the end right so that is what I say sometimes it is better to use the other triangle of 45 45 90 to avoid rationalization at the end right let me take one more example now so we'll do this time with tan so let us say tan of uh, 60 degrees since then square root 3 will come in the denominator right and let's say sine of 30 degrees okay so let's take a very simple expression okay tan 60 degrees is is square root 3 over 1 so that is simple square root 3 over 1 and sine 30 degrees is 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 let's complicate it so let's take minus tan of 30 and uh, times uh, sine of 60 okay let's do like this so minus tan of 30 will be 1 over square root 3 1 over square root 3 and sine 60 will be square root 3 over 2 okay square root 3 over 2 right now in such a case what really happens is square root 3 square root 3 cancel out you have square root 3 over 2 from the first expression and the second expression is minus half. So 2 is the common denominator and the numerator is square root 3 minus 1. So that is the exact value which you get in this particular case. Correct? So likewise we can have number of examples. Okay, let me now take another place and another example where we may have trigonometric expressions and in that case we may be interested in finding exact solution. Sometimes we have a problem that let us have a terminal arm, um, let us say in, in this particular quadrant, and the coordinate points for this point are minus, uh, let's say minus 3 and, and 5. Okay, height we have taken as 5. In that case, let us now consider this particular example and let's say this angle is theta for us. Okay. Now, for this particular triangle, we need to calculate what is tan theta times sine theta, let us say. Okay. Now, how will you find that? Now, in such cases, what you have to do is, when you are given a triangle like this, that means we know the adjacent side, which is 3, and we know the height, which is 5, we need to find the hypotenuse, right? So first thing is, in such cases, find the hypotenuse. Let me call this as r. Now here, r is equals to square root of 3 square plus 5 square square root, right? So we can use the calculator and find the answer. It is 9 plus 25 square root, or when you add them, you get square root of 34. Now, square root of 34, you could write in decimals, but when we are looking for exact values, we like to retain this as square root of 34. Right? That is kind of important, right? Now we know that we have a triangle here whose radius is square root of 34. Now, what is tan of theta? Tan of theta will be opposite side over adjacent side for quadrant 2 tan is going to be negative, right? So it is going to be negative and therefore it is going to be, this side is 5 for us, right? 
So, so what we get here is 5 over Five over minus three, right? So tan theta over here is five over minus three. The side is negative. Okay, times sine theta is going to be positive, which is going to be opposite side of five over hypotenuse, which is square root of thirty-four, right? So we have square root of thirty-four. So this expression tan theta times sine theta can be written as five over minus three times five over square root of thirty-four. So that comes to square root, uh, I mean 25, square of 5, divided by 3 times square root of 34, right? So that could be our solution. But we always prefer to write this in without a radical sign in the denominator. So we should actually rationalize it. So we'll write this as 25 divided by 3 times square root of 34, multiply and divide by 34 square root. Correct? So, so the answer really becomes 25 square root 35 over the negative sign divided by 3 times 34. Do you get it? 3 times 34, right? Now, let me write down here. So the answer is negative 25 square root 35 divided by 3 times 34. 3 times 4 is 12 to 1, 3 times 3 is 9, 102, right? So that is the answer for the trigonometric expression tan theta dot sine theta or times sine theta. I hope with the help of these examples, you have some idea about how to calculate trigonometric values, exact values of trigonometric expressions, right? Remember, the key thing here is to rationalize in case in case you get a radical sign in the denominator you need to rationalize right and then write down your answer that is kind of important we did it quite a few places and sometimes you can avoid rationalization by using this triangle square root 2 square root 2 and 2 in that case you will not get square root 2 in the denominator so that is the advantage at times right so the idea here is to always rationalize and write your answer second use special triangles to find the exact values i hope with this you are ready to uh, get into solving such questions from your book thank you and all the best